This presentation discusses how MATLAB's embedded coder, previously called Real-Time Workshop, can be used to generate C code which is deployable on Power PMAC. Here's an overview of the Real-Time Workshop technology. After a Simulink model is created using the Simulink blocks from the library browser, C or C++ code can be generated with Real-Time Workshop technology. The generated C code can then be deployed on a compiler or IDE toolchain and eventually executed on Power PMAC. The objective of using MATLAB's interface for Power PMAC is for custom user servo code generation. This interface fully automates the generation of C code that can be used either as Power PMAC servo loop closure routines or for other non-servo foreground tasks. Who should use this interface? Users who need to develop their own custom servo algorithm when the built-in servo filter and extensions are not sufficient or when any other non-servo real-time routines are needed for the application. Users of this interface need to have knowledge in the use of MATLAB and Simulink, but there is no need to know or write any C code. Here is what the Delta Tau provided MATLAB interface folder looks like. Among other things, this folder includes Power PMAC's input and output blocks, which gives user read and write access to the Power PMAC's memory. Here is an installation guide. The MATLAB interface is part of the Power PMAC IDE's installation. There is also a GUI based installation that can be launched from MATLAB. The installation GUI has options to either install or uninstall. It needs to be followed by a restart of MATLAB. Here is an overview of what the installation and uninstallation routines include. After the installation is complete, the Delta Tau Power PMAC library and its I.O. blocks can be found among Simulink's libraries in the library browser. Here is a quick example showing how one can design a PID controller with Delta Tau's MATLAB interface and deploy the generated code on Power PMAC. The user needs to design a model in Simulink for their specific application. In this example, the Simulink model is using a step input as the desired position input to the PID algorithm, which is running as a simplified model of the plant or the electric motor. Here are simulated position input and servo command responses from Simulink. In the next step, we can use Delta Tau's input and output blocks from the library to create a new model from which C code can be generated. We use Power PMAX input blocks to have access to the desired and actual positions of the motor. Power PMAX output block is used for writing the servo command to Power PMAX DAC register. Here are some instructions on where and how the Power PMAC input and output blocks can be used. When you double click on a Power PMAC I.O. block, a window opens. The user can set the memory location that the block has access to in that window. When the model design is complete, to start the code generation process, the user needs to choose powerpmac.tlc as the system target file. This should be done in the code generation pane of the configuration parameters dialog box. Here are a few design tips to be used during this process.
When the code generation process has completed without errors, a report document which includes the settings and generated code will open. This report can be studied by the user for any issues or undesired pieces of code. Browsing through the generated code shows some lines that are automatically added to the C code. These are specifically added to make the code deployable to Power PMAC. Some of these lines are shown in the next several slides. The generated code is saved in the current folder. In order to use the generated code, a project needs to be created in Power PMAX IDE and the generated code's source and header files need to be added to the real-time routines section. Next, the user servo's routines step function needs to be assigned to the specific motor of interest. The IDE project may include other components like motion programs or PLCs that can be loaded at any time. After the project setup is complete, it can be built and downloaded to the Power PMAC. To verify the response, Power PMAC's tuning software can be used. This concludes the presentation on MATLAB's interface for Power PMAC. For further questions, please contact support at deltatau.com.